You turn on the news. It's a war here, suicide bomb there. Well, the Middle East comes up a lot. It's the heat. The person who sells air conditioning to the Middle East will be a millionaire and win a Nobel Prize. <laughs> if those crazy guys lived in Canada for a while, it'd be, eh, you and your Islamic jihad. <laughs> if we had their heat for a couple of years, it'd be, the Habs rule. I've always wanted to shave my head. Uh, I was advised, wait until you've worked out and have the body to go with it. Instead of gaining muscle, <laughs> I lost hair. <laughs> my father says if I shave the whole thing, I'll be disowned. It's okay to have the Chernobyl thing happen one bald patch at a time. <laughs> That's natural. <laughs> but my sister says if I shave my head, people might think I'm a racist. People will discriminate. I'd be strung up and hated as a racist. <laughs> uh, a black man can give a white man a blood transfusion or donate an organ. How about that? Knowing that, how can anyone be a racist? There's a new untapped hate market. Blood types. Typism. You'd be a blood typist. Those typos think they run the world, the dyslexic little typos. Those type Qs think they're so special. You don't necessarily get along with your family. Uh, sibling rivalry, all that. The reason? Blood types. Your own sisters or brothers coming from the same parents might not have the same blood type. If we switched over to bloodism instead of racism, at least when we cut each other up in the streets, we're not killing people we might have used for transfusions. <laughs> I could help change the image of bald people. They're not all skinheads, not official skinheads. A bald man, as opposed to a balding man, could be anything. Military, a rock star, policeman, drug dealer, Mr. Clean. <laughs> but if you're just going bald, <laughs> you're an accountant. George on Steinfeld might have made the going bald look seem acceptable. But now he's gotten too creepy. John, some say Jean-Luc Picard is a sex symbol. Not for any of the women I know. Okay, maybe power could figure into it. Power, that's all you need. Join Starfleet, get a commission, move up the ranks, command Starship Enterprise. Tang Central! <laughs> then again, Picard isn't so much balding as basically bald. May as well shave off the little trim. You can take a bald head seriously. This person doesn't just let hair happen or take what it gives him. He takes control. No combs, no moose. But a balding man is invisible. You blend. You'd look out of place in a nightclub if women were to look twice at all. But if you're bald, heads turn. It might be in fear. But at least that's a start.